Welcome to episode 22 of From Chump to Champ. The goal to close out the week is to upgrade up my EZK into an EOF and continue to build out my melee setup. Be sure to like and subscribe, and let's get into it. So with last episode, I did 100 hard clues, um, and I still have a whole lot more cluing to do because I only knocked out one of the uh, four EO or a couple of hydrixes that I need. So uh, I thought I would start this episode out by making my chip tabs for Evil Dave's spellbook, um, just to make sure that I have those extra teleports to make this a little bit easier on myself, so I can stop being a bumbling fool and doing my clues. Took me about 20 minutes, but I have a decent stack now. I have uh, 78 of uh, Camelot, Falador, Lumbridge, and Varrock, because you don't know, really don't use those too much for clues. And I made 130 of the ones that are commonly used for hards, which is Watchtower and Ardoin. I think I'm also going to probably make another like 50 or 50, or probably another 70 of the heart teleports uh, for when I do my masters. And uh, I missed it. Ah. <laughs> I just DC'd too. Am I back? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, I DC'd right at the reflect. <laughs> I don't know if I like nearly killed somebody or not. I do apologize. <laughs> Oh, that's absolutely what I did. I literally stopped. I was like, okay, I know it's near here. I was like, I was like, I know it's around here, so I'm just gonna start clicking. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Ow. Oh, well, I hit myself anyway. TY4 kills. Yeah, let's go. Energies. I actually need them. You know, I think that's the first time I actually got a drop on you know, hard mode. Holy shit. I just got an Illuk Junkin component drop while farming some more clues, which means I do not have to farm. I should not have to farm out a P6 AS1 for my spear which definitely saves me a whole lot of time. And that is another 50 clues collected. I think what I'm going to do is just do 50 a week. Um, just otherwise, the next couple episodes would just be straight up cluing. Um, so I'm going to do 50 a week, and then I'll probably actually just Shatter Worlds the um, easy K to get to level 15, and then do collecting with um, another weapon or something. So we finished solving those 50 clues, as you can see right here. I also did get a... Um, an additional easy casket from a penguin so that's nice but i'm gonna again just like last episode i'm gonna put the opening at the end and then the next clip will just be me showing how many fortunates i gain so let's get into it when we're disassembling all of our fortunes our items that we got we started with 48 so the finishing up that that clue set got me 81 total fortunates which means i gained 33 which means i need a total of 69 69 forts left so that's maybe like two more sets of clues then we got all our stuff here prepped for another essence of finality so let's uh go make that alchemical hydrix and let's enchant our hydrix into a souls and enchant that reaper and use all three together for an essence of finality and i think my easy k1 is going to be black <laughs> So obviously I'm not sticking my EZK in here just yet. Um, I still need to get a few more things. So um, let's just stick this in here for now. And it's going to take the place of my Lania K Spear. I still need to level up my EZK because I only got to 130k, 8k XP. It's 220 something. So I think I'm just going to take that to Shattered Worlds and get that done. So I wanted to spend a little bit of time this week reorganizing my bank because I obviously have a very wide bank for when I play on desktop, um, but I don't. Uh, I do also do a whole lot of stuff on mobile as well, which makes this way way more difficult. Um, and what I mean by that is uh, because the numbers don't don't line up between mobile and desktop. Um, it makes my mobile bank very, very disorganized, and I can't tell what's up, where anything is. So I'm going to reorganize it so it matches the uh, mobile setup. So to my friends who like to give me a hard time about Wide Bank, Wide Bank is now dead. So I finished reorganizing my bank. It looks a little bit better, I think. Um, should be easier to find some stuff. Uh, some stuff still is a little bit wonky, though, so I do need a little bit more work. Uh, still haven't organized any of the other tabs, but so still have a whole lot of stuff to do. But the main one, the combat stuff, that's all set in a way that I like. So let's keep moving.
I think we're going to go into an hour of next because it's been a while since I've done next. I would like to upgrade my, um, <clears throat> get a few Torva drops because I am just the, uh, Torva energy off of, where is it? There it is. I just need the, uh, melee essences. I believe I need 10 to get, uh, full trim masterwork. Uh, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I want to try to get full trim masterwork ASAP so that I can start melee camping. So let's get on to the next. I just realized I forgot my quiver. And my quiver has the wrong ammo. This is a great start. God, what am I doing? The hell am I doing? That was a god awful kill. I can almost take all the bruise. <laughs> and these kills are god awful. I completely forgot how to do this. Ah, oh, I thought I got something. Stupid clue scroll side too fantastic a whole lot of bruise this kill or this hour I guess kill started way smoother and then went to shit at zero's face somehow dude I've gotten 180 bruise so far this hour this is insane what the hell am I doing all right finally a decent freaking kill at sub 230 dude I literally just made like 600 note paper, and I'm down to 104. <laughs> Man, that should have PR'd, but I accidentally uh, stopped like attacking <laughs> for like six seconds. I would have skipped the next prison, man. It was a useful dark bow. I literally dark bowed next when she had zero HP, or when she was at HP cap. Oh, I did it again. Oh, the kill was smooth until I got popped by something random as shit. <laughs> Two hours and no drops feels bad, man. I want to check how well this works now. Um, obviously, as I said before, I want to EOF my EZK. Uh, so I decided to jump it into Shattered Worlds and just try to Meteor Strike into D2H spam. I mean, it's not as good as it was, but you know, with Meteor Strike, with Meteor Strike buff, you can definitely get a whole lot of um, adrenaline for free anyway. So I can continue to spam D2H. Editing me here, I realized I messed up a little bit on talking about the whole idea of what I am doing. So the idea is to pick a world where you can start with feeling pumped, and then you, when you get the feeling pumped proc, you uh, spam your D2H, and then once uh, the pump feeling pumped uh, buff wears off, then you'd media strike to continue to be able to uh, D2H. Um, overall, it's pretty good, but it used to be way better because uh, you'd get feeling prompt way more often. Ooh, nice oceanic components scavenging so in one overload dose i ended up getting uh close to 20k item xp so i guess it's not it was nerfed but it's not so bad so my easy k just hit level 15 it took me about two hours uh, i did a little bit last night and then about an hour and a half this morning uh I timed it with pens um so i did waste about 10 minutes uh just doing other stuff um and i reset pens, so that's how i figured that i hit two hours but or just about two hours total um so it's level 15 let's uh, go uh separate it siphon it and stick it in my eof all right so my easy k is all set to be uh separated so i'm gonna separate it first didn't keep the separator unfortunately and then i'm just gonna siphon it for xp all right and then we're gonna take it and stick it in the EOF. Yes, that is the one that I want to stick it into. And I have lost my chicken wing sword. Um, I don't have anywhere to stick this aftershock, so I really don't, I'm not really worried about that right now. So let's just put that and this into my bag. And apparently I kept my siphon. I didn't know you could do that. Hey, 103 rune crafting. So as I said um, in the clip when I finished the, the uh, clues, I got one easy and 50 hards. Let's pull these out and let's see what we get. We got our luck of the doors on. We're going to start with the easy casket because, well, that was just a random one. So nothing from there. That's all right. And our 50 hards. So as I said, when I collected the 50 clues, I would throw the opening at the end of the video. Um, I did speed this up at 200%, so there's not going to be any commentary over it, because otherwise the audio is just really, really strange. So if you want to keep watching it, go ahead. If you'd like to skip, I will put a timestamp right on the clip so you can skip to the to after this. 
I also wanted to ask what your guys' preference are there. So would you like to see these uh, clues being open with what commentary and a little slower, making the videos longer at the end of a video? Do you want to see it at the middle of the video? Or would you just like me to skip it altogether? Or possibly even doing a larger clue opening as its own video? Uh, be sure to comment that below. Thanks for watching episode 22 of From Chump to Champ. So we didn't really get make too much progress. Uh, we did finish up um, EUFing our EZK. So I now am almost done with my melee setup. Um, if you look at the graph, we are currently at 49 mil. So yes, the graph did go down, but I think it's understandable considering I had not done really any... Um, any PVM. I did a little bit of next. I didn't get any Alex during that time. Um, all the Alex came from clues, and a lot of those clues honestly didn't get thrown into the Alex yet. So money is going up, but it's just not there yet. Um, be sure to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.